I know almost nothing about the Cleveland Indians, and this is embarrassing. Okay. Let uh, Give us a little uh, get-to-know-the-Cleveland-Indians uh, for the next 90 seconds or so, would you? Yeah, well, first of all, so I read CBS Sports is where I'm doing most of my writing during the playoffs, and I wrote a very long piece. You know, this is, like, more detail than you can handle even. The Indians' third starter by default is a guy named Josh Tomlin. Basically, the Indians had a great season, but two of their three best starters, Carlos Carrasco and, Dan- and Danny Salazar, got hurt. So now they're going with Corey Kluber and pray for an Uber so you can bring in more pitchers. That's basically what they're trying to do right now. And as a result, this guy, Josh Tomlin, who throws 87 miles an hour and gave up 36 home runs this year, is pitching huge games. But he completely shut down the Red Sox, and it did kind of a pitch-by-pitch account of what happened with Tomlin pitching, and it's very interesting. If their secondary guy, Tomlin, a guy named Trevor Bauer, UCLA kid, if those two guys perform, the rest of the Indians roster is really good because Kluber might win the Cy Young. He's a great number one starter. They've got this guy, Andrew Miller, who's a great reliever and is being used, as I mentioned before, differently than anybody else. Terry Francona had brought him in in the fifth inning the other day and had him pitch from the fifth bridging all the way through to almost through the seventh. So they've got a very interesting strategy where they're not even worrying about, oh, Clayton Kershaw and rest or whatever. They're just saying, you know what? If our starting pitcher even sneezes, he's out of the game because we got this Andrew Miller guy. So that's pretty interesting. And then the rest of it is just a fun, opportunistic team. They have a shortstop named Francisco Lindor, who's really, really good. He's got a chance to be like – he's like Ozzie Smith, but a really good hitter, basically. That's how good he is. And a bunch of other really interesting young guys. So it's a fun team to watch. Uh, I think it's going to be a great matchup with the Blue Jays. That's the series that I'll be covering for CBS. I'm on ALCS duty. And uh, I, maybe I'm the first person to say it in a while, but I'm super excited to go to Cleveland. I haven't been there in 20 years. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm excited to cover this ALCS. It's actually – I think if you – you know, even if you don't know that much about either of these clubs, you will get to once you watch these games. It's going to be some fun games. Well, yeah, it's uh, Cleveland, by the way, has a chance to be a pseudo city of champions all of a sudden. Yeah. They're chasing their second ring in the calendar year. It's crazy stuff. And we're keeping our fingers crossed for the Cleveland Barons. Maybe they could pull off a Stanley Cup as well. We'll see. Uh, no, they uh, – well, I don't want to embarrass you on, on, on national radio and television here, Jonas. <laughs> so, so let's move on here. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.